Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a trick with which you will be able to find the HCF of any given numbers in matter of seconds. But before beginning with that, let us just understand what is HCF. The full form of HCF as we all know it is highest common factor. Meaning that Whenever we have given a set of numbers, we need to find a number which will be a multiple of all of those numbers given. So let us take for example 9 and 12. These are two numbers given to us. So the traditional method of finding the HCF is nothing but you write down the factors of 9 and you write down the factors of 12. And while writing these factors, you have to always ensure that these numbers are represented in terms of prime numbers so meaning 9 can be written as 3 into 3 into 1 and 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 and then in order to find the HCF all we need to do is we need to find out the factor which is common to both of them so here I can say 3 3 as well as 1 and 1. So my HCF is 3 into 1 which is leading to 3. But students this method does not help us too much when the number of numbers given are more than 2 or 3 as well as if the numbers are big. So let me show you a trick with which you will be able to find HCF of any numbers in matter of seconds. So let me just take 9 and 12 again. So the first thing which you will be doing is you need to find the difference between them. The difference will be 12 minus 9 that is nothing but 3. That is my difference. Now the next step is to check whether 3 is a factor of 9 as well as 12. If it is then that is my HCF. Now let me show you another example. Let us take another two numbers 16 comma 26. What is the difference? The difference over here is 26 minus 16 gets us 10. Now let us check whether 10 is a factor of 16 and 26. No. So in this case what do we do? We write the difference in terms of its prime factors. So we can write down 10 as nothing but 2 into 5. So now let us check whether 2 is a factor of 16. Yes. And is 2 a factor of 26? Yes. Correct. And we will also check for 5. But we know 5 is neither a factor of 16 nor 26. So here in this case we found out that 2 will be the factor of 16 and 26. So my HCF over here became 2. Now let me show you this trick with more set of numbers. So let's take for example 15, 20, 30, 35, 55. Now students... The first thing which I will like to tell you all is that when finding the difference, if the given set of numbers are more than 2, then the difference found out will be the smallest difference between the given set of numbers. So here my smallest difference would be 5 because as we can see difference between 15 and 20 is 5 and difference between 30 and 20 is 10. Again here it is again 5 and here it is 20. So we can say that the least difference would be 5. And Again, we'll use the same method of checking whether this difference is the factor of all these numbers. So, yes, we can say that 5 is a factor of 15, 20, 30, 35 and 55. So, we can say here my HCF would be just 5. So, let us see another set of examples. This, the numbers given is 6, 18, 24, 32 and 40. So here we can see the difference over here is 12. Here the difference is 6. Again here the difference is 8 and here again my difference is 8. So we can say that the smallest difference is 6. Now the first thing which we will try to find out is whether 6 is a factor of all of these given numbers. So we can see that 6 is obviously a factor of 6. 6 is a factor of 18. 6 is again a factor of 24 but is 6 a factor of 32 or 40? No, right? So in this case we will write down 
6 in terms of its prime factors. So that is 2 into 3. Now let us check whether 2 is a factor of 6, 18, 24, 32 and 40. Yes, right? So here again my HCF became 2. Now students, let me show you another example. 17, 23, 44, 54 and 57. So here let us first find out the difference. So the least difference between all of these given numbers is 3. So now let us check whether 3 is a factor of all of these given numbers. We can say that it is not a factor of 17. It is neither a factor of 23 nor 44. So students there is no point of checking whether 3 is a factor of the given number when it is not a factor of even a single number given in our question. So let us write down 3 in terms of its prime factors. We can write 3 as nothing but 3 into 1. As we all know that 3 is not a factor of all of these given numbers. Then the number which is left is 1 and we know that 1 is a factor of all of these given numbers. So here my HCF will straight away become 1. Again let me show this with another example. The given numbers are 2, 6, 9, 15. So first let's find out the difference. The difference over here is 4, over here is 3 and that is the least difference. So let us just write down 3 again. Now can we say that 3 is a three is a factor of all of these given numbers? It is a factor of 6, 9 and 15 correct but is it a factor of 2? No. So since it is not a factor of 2, here also we will break down 3 in terms of its prime factors. So again my HCF will become 1. Students, this example was taken to show you that even if one of the given numbers are not the factor of the difference, then we will have to break down the difference in terms of its prime factors. And from there, we will find out what is the given HCF. Students, I hope you have liked this video. If And for many such tricks, please like and subscribe to my channel that is Fast and Easy Maths. Thank you.